Hello, it's Ian Michael, and we're going to show the Game Boy manuals, the three of them going in a circle and show you the functions and maybe uh, let you understand what's going on here. Okay, your friendly neighborhood Dreamcast developer. So we're into the main menu, which I've shown you on many occasions. We'll go to the Game Boy menu. So, first, we'll do Back from the Sewers, the PAL version. We load to the beautiful artwork by Adam Burrell. And you can see here, this is back from the sewers, the Game Boy. It shows you the in-game controls, and also, from that game, how to get back to the main menu. So, from here, you can press more info, which we'll do. By the way, all these have BMU icons that are going to show up when you go back and forth. So we'll look at the, the manual, of course. I've already shown you the, the Quasimodo PDF viewer. Okay, so you can read that. So now you press start. Start. And you'll be back at the selection menu for the game. So from here, you can go back to the main menu and select a new game of any of the systems, or you can load the game right now. So we'll load the game right now. see it says back from the sewers and that's what we're playing right okay from here you can play the game you can do save states but we're going to go back to the main menu We're going to go to the next Game Boy menu. As you see here, there is no reboot, no back to the Dreamcast BIOS. This is a Quasimodo the pseudo operating system now. So now we're going to do Radical Rescue. So we will start the game. We get to the beautiful artwork, Radical Rescue. It shows you exactly what you need to know when you are using this. More info. We go to the manual loader. Which this manual loader is separate in this so that it does the, the Game Boy. So then we'll go to the Radical Rescue. Zoom right in, we press start, we press start. We're back to Radical Rescue, we can load the game, or we can go back to the menu. How do you go back to the menu? From here, say you don't want to play this, you made a mistake. You don't have to reboot, you don't have to get off your couch, you just press start. And you'll be back to the main menu. We'll look at the last menu and scans. You can see the beautiful artwork. Everything has consistency of high quality. It shows you all the things that I've shown you before. You go to the menu viewer with more info. You can load the game or go back to the menu. We will load the game.
Let's see, save state menu. We'll kill a few things. We'll go to save state menu. We'll save. Which takes a little while. Saving done. Return to the game, see we're on 60. We'll kill a few more things. We'll go to save state menu. We'll load the save state. Loading done, we're back to 60. From here, you don't have to reboot. You don't have to turn off your console. You don't have to put in new batteries. All you do is press left and right trigger. And B, like the info screen told you, and you will return to the main menu, where you can select other games. It's a continuous loop. Everything, all the cores are integral into the menu. So there you go. This is being Ian Michael showing you and maybe helping you understand why it takes so long to do this because this is the highest quality product that I've ever done. And um, thank you for your love and support. Thank you to all my patrons that continue to support me. Um, I haven't been pumping out low grade stuff. Um, you know, that might be annoying that there's not something coming out every week. But I have to do, since the Sega Power demo disc, I have to do higher quality than that. So, this is showing you the functions. All the systems will be like this. And it is a hell of a lot of work. So, it's also coding, artwork, making sure we stay within memory, making sure everything can return and load. So, Ian Michael signing out, and I'll see you in a future video. Farewell.